Hello my dear friends, me David Nolan, with a new history topic in our channel. Who was Thomas Jefferson? Thomas Jefferson was a significant political pioneer and the third leader of the United States, serving from 1801 to 1809. He was additionally a fellow benefactor and head of the vote-based Republic Party. From 1779 to 1781, he filled in as the wartime legislative leader of Virginia. He additionally composed Virginia Statute for Religious Freedom, a rule which was established by the Virginia General Assembly into the state's law in 1786. Before he was chosen for the administration, he was named as the main United States Secretary of State during 1789-1793 and was the second VP of America, serving from 1797 to 1801. In 1776, he turned into the primary creator of the Revelation of Independence, and got appreciation for his job in advancing republicanism in the United States. While in power, Jefferson savagely upheld the possibility of majority rule government and supported states' as privileges, which he thought about ethics of republicanism. A man of numerous abilities, Thomas Jefferson investigated many interests and discovered accomplishment as a horticulturist, legislator, draftsman, prehistorian, creator, and organizer of the College of Virginia. Youth and Education Born on 13 April 1743 in Virginia, Thomas Jefferson was the third of ten kids brought into the world to Peter Jefferson and Jane Randolph. His dad, who was of Welsh plunge, was an assessor and filled in as a grower. In 1745, his family moved to Tekahoe and lived there for a very long time prior to getting back to their home in Albemarle County after his dad was delegated to the colonelcy of the area. Jefferson's schooling started in 1752 at a school run by William Douglas, who was a Scottish priest. From the time he was nine, Jefferson turned into an eager student of Greek, French, and Latin. His dad passed on in 1757, making Thomas Jefferson the beneficiary to his resources and various slaves. From 1758 to 1760, Jefferson was instructed by Reverend James Maury in Virginia where he got traditional training and contemplated science and history. In 1760, he selected at the College of William and Mary, in Williamsburg where he considered arithmetic, transcendentalism, and reasoning, graduating with incomparable distinctions in 1762. As a sharp understudy, Jefferson checked out learning various dialects. As an understudy, he read for 15 hours per day. Thomas additionally figured out how to play the violin and took a distinct fascination for expressions. In the wake of graduating, he examined law with George Wythe and started specializing in legal matters in Virginia Bar in 1767. From 1768 to 1773, he took care of various cases and set up a good foundation for himself as a presumed legal advisor. Marriage and children Thomas Jefferson wedded a youthful widow named Martha Wales Skelton in 1772 and the couple had six kids, Martha Jefferson Randolph, Jane Randolph, Mary Wales, Lucy Elizabeth, and Elizabeth. Martha brought forth a stillborn child in 1777. She kicked the bucket on 6 September 1782. Early political life Jefferson was named as an agent to the Second Continental Congress in 1775. With the start of American goal of freedom in 1776, he filled in as a part to an advisory group that was liable for setting up the revelation of the autonomy goal. The draft was introduced to Congress on 2 July and on 4 July 1776 the phrasing of the presentation of independence was supported, making Jefferson a mainstream individual in the country. Legislative head of Virginia, Jefferson turned into the legislative head of Virginia in 1779 and stayed in this situation until 1781. It was during his residency as the lead representative that the capital of Virginia was moved from Williamsburg to Richmond in 1780. His steady endeavors in the field of schooling were perceived in 1779, when George Wythe was selected as the primary educator of law at the School of Williams and Mary. Jefferson's governorship was damaged by two British intrusions which destroyed his standing as lead representative and he always lost any political decision in Virginia from that point. Jefferson filled in as pastor to France from 1785 to 1789 and upheld France against Britain when a conflict was announced between these two nations in 1793. Secretary State of the U.S. Jefferson turned into the principal Secretary of State in 1790, under the administration of George Washington. As a Secretary of State, he denounced broad federalism in the U.S. Furthermore, kept on survey it as a danger to republicanism. 
Alongside James Madison, he helped to establish and grow the majority rule Republican Party, and defined a bunch of associations with Republican partners to battle the Federalists the nation over. Bad Habit Presidency and Presidency After a bomb bid for Bad Habit Administration in 1796, Jefferson became VP of the United States in 1797. Federalists, who were getting ready for battle with France, passed the Outsider and Sedition Acts in 1798 as a wellspring of bringing in cash through charges. Jefferson cruelly scrutinized these strategies and escalated his assault on federalism, as he accepted that Federalists reserved no privilege to exercise such force. Thomas Jefferson ran for administration without precedent for 1800. However he didn't lobby for his party, as per the practice at that point, he turned into the leader of the United States in an avalanche triumph on 17 February 1801. During his residency as the president, he battled the Barbary War, safeguarding the U.S. coast from privateers, and obtained Louisiana from France. Therefore, he won a second term at the workplace in the 1804 official decisions. Thomas Jefferson kicked the bucket on 4 July 1826, a date which concurs with the 50th commemoration of the Affirmation of Independence. After his demise, his resources were auctions off in a sale to pay his immense obligation. His human remaining parts were covered at Monticello, a home which he had underlying his childhood in Virginia.